Jen Boniza spoke to a family who returned to Hawaii this morning from China. She joins us now from the airport. Jen? Joe, I'm here in front of the CDC quarantine station at the airport. I did speak to a couple who traveled from China to Honolulu, arriving at about 10 a.m. this morning. They tell me they've made this trip several times, and they didn't notice any additional screening when they arrived today. Pat and Linda Oka flew home to Hawaii Tuesday after traveling throughout China with a group for the past two weeks. They didn't go to Wuhan, but say even Hong Kong was like a ghost town. We've been to Hong Kong before, and uh, you know, there's so many people in China that there's crowds everywhere. And this time, uh, it was really uh, strange to see the streets bare and the stores closed. They were very cautious and had to wear masks everywhere. You make sure you wear your mask no matter where you go <laughs> because, I, you know, you just don't want to. Even if there's not too many people, we were really cautious. They say in China, you could see the effort the country was making to contain the disease. They put a lot of um, sanitation procedures wherever we went. We could see them spraying and cleaning things. Yeah. Normally, we don't see that. Flying home, they were expecting heightened screening procedures going through customs and immigration. We were surprised that when we got off the airplane, there was nothing, no reference to virus or, or anything. Uh, no one asked us any questions or, or um, we were surprised that, that um, nothing was brought to our attention. I reached out to the CDC to find out how exactly they are screening travelers for the coronavirus. I'll let you know when I hear back. Live from Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, Jen Boniza working for Hawaii, Cage 2 News.